Welcome to our second lesson about motion constraints. Let's begin by placing components. Let me just navigate to the folder for this lesson. Okay, let's bring in part one, open. Left click to place it, right click and done. And let's apply constraints. Activate the constraint command. First, we're going to use a tangent constraint. We'll select this face and this face. Click apply. Now let's apply a mate constraint. Select our first face and our second face, a flush solution. Apply. Finally, let's mate the axis and this face. Apply and cancel out of the tool. Let's expand part one. Right click on mate one and select drive constraint. The length of this plate is four inches. So let's enter negative four here as our end position. If you enter a positive 4, the cylinder is going to move in the opposite direction. And let's click play. Okay, that was quick. Let's slow down our drive a little bit. Let's enter a pause delay of 0.1 seconds. And for the increment, let's say 0.25. Let's click play to test it again. Okay, let's slow it down even more. Let's enter an eighth of an inch for the increment and test it again. As you notice, the cylinder doesn't rotate. Let's cancel out of this dialog window and learn how to make it rotate. Click on the constraint command, go to the motion tab. This time I'm going to use the rotation translation type. Now let's select our faces. I'll use this cylindrical face and this planar face right here. The distance between the cylindrical surface here and the second surface we selected, this planar face here, is the circumference of the circle that comprises the cylinder. That's how far the cylinder will travel during one revolution. We're ready to click Apply. And let's cancel out of the constraint window as well. Let's drive our constraint now. Right click on Mate 1, Drive Constraint, and let's test it out. But as you can see, the cylinder is still not rotating. Let's cancel out of this window. Let's go to the Tools tab, Document Settings, Modeling tab. Under Interactive Contact, let's select All Components. Under Surface Complexity, I'm going to select Simple Surfaces. Let's Apply, and then Close. And let's test it again. Right-click on Mate 1, select Drive Constraint. Let's play it. And as you see, now the cylinder rotates. And let's play it again. And this concludes our second lesson about motion constraints.